All right, sailing is constantly changing in terms of keel design. You know you want to buy a sailing vessel, but with so many options, where do we even begin? In essence, the keel is the foundation of your sailboat, and which one you choose will entirely depend on the type of sailing you intend to do. Keels all do the same thing. They keep the vessel upright and travel you to your destination. The question is how you choose the keel that is most appropriate for your criteria. Let's take a look at the most common type of keel, the fin keel, and compare it to something a little less common, the bilge keel. Both have advantages and disadvantages, but one is better suited for a specific type of sailing while still being able to accomplish what the other does in different aspects. Many people believe that the bilge keel boats provide the advantages of shallow draft and the ability to dry out upright over low water at the expense of performance. However, this is not the entire story. A well-designed twin keel boat may, on average, outperform some single keel yachts depending on the circumstances. Today, there are very few manufacturers of bilge keel yachts. In a sense, they have fallen out of favor with the general public, despite the fact that many of the later designs were extremely efficient. After the RM1260's victory in the family cruiser category of the European Yacht of the Year Awards at the 2013 Dusseldorf Boat Show, wow, that's a lot. I really thought that manufacturers would start reconsidering offering the bilge keel option and it would become popular on numerous different newer models. However, here we are nine years later and that doesn't seem to be the case. It appears that bilge keel designs are simply no longer considered for new vessels. So what are the advantages of a well-designed single keel boat over a twin keel model as opposed to the disadvantages? The design of a twin keel boat with an extremely deep draft becomes impractical as the vessel's draft grows deeper. As a result, while a twin keel vessel of moderate draft has the potential to outperform a sister ship with an equally deep draft, the deeper draft single keel variant will always be faster. Furthermore, a boat with a deep single keel will have less wetted surface area and, as a result, less drag than a boat with a twin keel configuration particularly relevant in light weather where the twin keeler is at a competitive disadvantage. Long weighted blades attached to the bottom of the hull make up the fin keel. It's more agile, lighter, and faster than a full keel, but it's also more vulnerable to impacts and other hazards. An additional ballast or large wetted surface is no longer required because of an increased distance between the ballast and the sails on the twin keeler. Such vessels as the Hunter 34, the Barbaria 40, and even the Catalina 30 are examples of sailboats with fin keels. Fin keels are shorter and thinner than full keels since they are attached to the hull with bolts. They're also lighter, which is a bonus. Fin keels will be substantially faster in all situations. There are some problems with fin keels, though. More heel is allowed with fin keels, and the track is less stable. This basically means they can be pretty lively at the helm depending on the weather. This can sometimes be less pleasant than a traditional full keel. As a result, directional stability can also be reduced. Unlike full keels, fin keels are significantly more susceptible to breaking or being damaged when they run aground. Here's a tip, don't run aground. Racers frequently employ fin keels because they are easier to maneuver in tight spaces, i.e. to avoid collisions. Nowadays, a fin keel with a spade rudder is basically the most popular design out there across all manufacturers. It is typically used in conjunction with a light, beamy hull that have a high freeboard. A low wetted surface and a good aerofoil design provide excellent speed, high pointing, and quick tacking, among other advantages. The steering has also been made lighter. The best designs of fin keels with a spade rudder are also capable of cutting through rough seas while maintaining a reasonable level of comfort. Note that when sailing downwind, a fin keel with a spade rudder is quick to surf in some cases and may even be able to plane if the wind is blowing from the right direction. That's a pretty wild ride when on a fin keel vessel and you start to plane going downwind. Now the fin keel with the spade rudder does have the disadvantages of requiring more frequent reefing and being less stable at the helm, both of which are pretty big downsides. In addition, when sailing downwind, there is the risk of the boat suddenly broaching, making it difficult to control in rough weather. Additionally, flat sections of sea in rough weather that pop up unexpectedly can induce slamming, and the lightweight designs might be uncomfortable in some conditions. This style of keel can also be unstable and difficult to control again 
again when sailing downwind in rough weather conditions, which is obviously a disadvantage. Bilge keels are essentially a double keel with double fins, which allow the boat to be beached and stand upright on its keel when it's not moving. Bilge keels increased wetted surface area by twofold, boosting comfort and direct stability while simultaneously decreasing the heel height of the vessel. Modern bilge keels are typically capable of providing adequate windward performance as a result of improved design. Comparatively speaking, the bilge keel compromises speed, although it does not necessarily result in lower overall performance again. So the easiest way to break this down is to think about it this way. For the most part, the principal function of a bilge keel is to help reduce the rolling motion of the vessel. Bilge keels have a number of advantages over full and fin keels. In tidal environments especially, the ability to beach the boat is one of the most important characteristics, which makes it a very popular design in places like Europe and other locations that have high and low extreme tides. You should keep in mind that because of their length and the fact that they stay extended beyond the lowest point of the hull, the sailboats that are equipped with bilge keels can stand upright on flat terrain, but only flat terrain. Just because you have a bilge keel doesn't mean you can go beat your boat on a rocky shore. In this particular instance, the advantage is clear. Something else to keep in mind is that in the event of the boat running aground, the ability for it to remain upright dramatically increases your options. This does not mean that every time you run aground in a bilge keel, your boat's going to stay upright, but your chances are pretty high and they're 100% higher than they would be with a fin keel. The contrast between bilge keels versus fin keels can be a heated topic of discussion for many sailors. Fin keels appear to be favored by the majority of new boat buyers, but there is a significant undercurrent of sailors who want boats that can withstand grounding. While fin keels theoretically provide a deeper center of gravity, marginally less drag, and greater lateral resistance making them better at sailing to windward, they are relatively recent development. It wasn't that long ago that most sailboats were always available with a long keel, and every sailor under the sun praised these long keels, even still to this day. There are some that think there is no other keel out there except a long keel. Choosing a bilge keel is a good option if you want a stable boat with the ability to beach it and aren't concerned with speed or performance. Now, if you want speed or agility, a fin keel is the way to go. It's a clear choice. But keep in mind that with a fin keel, they are absolutely more prone to damage if you run into things. If you're clumsy captain of the day and you tend to hit things with your vessel, fin keel's not going to be a great choice for you. If you live somewhere where you'd like to beach your boat or you have that option, a bilge keel is a stunning, amazing addition to your sailing life. Let me know in the comment below what keel you chose and why. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you on the next video. Also, if you check out my website, chasinglatitudes.com, I've also got some t-shirts available, one-on-one consults, and all of the, my videos that I do make are available in readable form over there. So check that out, leave some comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, notifications, and I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Thank you so much.